Hi guys, it's Patricia and welcome to Tester Tuesday, which is our weekly series of Scentsy review videos. Each week I review two Scentsy scents, some are current, some are retired. But the great part is you guys vote at the end and you guys decide which ones we're going to talk about. So don't forget to stick around. We will be drawing six new scents for you guys to pick from. So the interesting thing was this last week with the voting, it was the closest we've ever had. We had slightly over 100 votes. There was extremely tight race. I think between first place and last place, there was like six votes separating. That's, that's not a lot of votes. So in first place, I'm going to show you a couple old bars here just because I have old packaging. It's a red wax. <laughs> Can you see how old it is? It was Cozy Fireside. This had 20% of the vote. And tied for second, we had two fragrances. We had Sugar and Spice and Sugar Cookie. So I went to Instagram for my instant tiebreaker. So when we have a tie, I usually go to Instagram, ask someone to break a tie. It's usually Tracy Dawn, but this time it was Etta1514, so thank you very much. She picked the dark burgundy wax of Sugar and Spice. So this one had 18% of the vote. So the order went Cozy, Fireside, then Sugar and Spice and Sugar Cookie, tied. Then we had Oodles of Orange, Toasted, Coconut, Amaretto, and Honey Pear Cider. Let's get into talking about this first place scent for this week. It is Cozy Fireside. So I think I have a, a more current packaging there, but I want to use that bar up, so this is a good excuse. But look at all the testers I have for this one. So on cold, I thought to myself, this one smells medium, so I'm going to try my open concept area, and then I also had additional testers that I used in my downstairs son's room and adjoining huge bathroom. So those are the two locations I warmed it in. All areas have 25 watt bulb warmers except for the bathroom part of my son's bedroom has a 12 watt element warmer. So this cozy fireside scent is a seasonally retired scent. It usually comes out every fall and winter. It's been around a long time. I didn't kind of trace back how long it's been around, but it's been around a while. So I expect it will come back. I would say it's in the spicy category. So the scent description is warm spice notes with zesty ginger and cinnamon. So I definitely describe this as a warm fragrance. You can definitely pick up ginger. The ginger gives it like a little bit of a special twist. But the cinnamon is not for the faint of heart. It's bordering on the red hot. So we have bakery cinnamon, we have red hot. I feel like it's not red hot in the sense red hot cinnamon to me reminds me of the candy. I don't really get the candy vibe, but I definitely get the like astringency of the hot cinnamon. But the ginger is also getting in there too and kind of combining with that. It kind of softens it in a way, but it, ginger has its own heat. So between those two things, you are getting the heat. I feel like there's like a 10% like charred wood smell. I don't know if I'm just imagining that because of the name Cozy Fireside, but just a very, very slight like charness. But it all works together. It's a very earthy, cozy, spicy scent. You have to like spices to like this. It's definitely a fall and winter scent. I don't mind warming it this time of year, but it's definitely a fall and winter scent. I would say scent appeal for me, cold and warm, is about 7 out of 10. I love cinnamon scents. I'm okay with this. It's not my favorite. I'm okay with it. Uh, how did it do? In my open concept layout, which is huge, I should take a video, but you know, I'm probably not ever going to. <laughs> uh, strength and throws, 7.5 out of 10. I left it in 27 hours over a four day frame. Now I should have probably taken it out on day three because day four I felt like there wasn't much to it. But um, in my son's room, I left it in a bit longer because I left it in like an overnight time frame. And again, I think it kind of died overnight. I had it in 39 hours over four days. Strength and throw was a tiny bit higher there, maybe like almost an eight, slightly smaller room, closed doors, that kind of thing. So I expect this will be back. Now the other thing I noticed is this one kind of builds in the room, so it you know it kind of builds momentum, builds momentum, and then it it kind of sticks around a fairly long time. So I would recommend this if you like scents like Autumn Sunset. Um, that is a bit more astringent on the cinnamon, like very very red hot. So it's definitely not as red hot as Autumn Sunset. Um, but if you like that kind of scent and you haven't tried Cozy Fireside, maybe give it a try. Okay, let's move on. Sugar and Spice. It says Sugar and Spice and Everything Nice right under there. <laughs> I didn't notice that. So I only had two mini testers for this one. So 
I knew I had a bar, so I had a full bar plus my two mini testers. So I, I used a cu couple cubes. Okay, so this is retired. Like, I think what happened was it was a scent of the month in September 2013, and I don't think it came in the catalog. I would describe this as a spicy, sweet confectionery scent. It is described by Sensi as treat yourself as a, cr as a crunchy candy coating gives way to a black licorice filling. Spicy, herbal, and sweet, it says. So it's funny. I have a few things to kind of mention about this. The first time I got this was at a flash sale. So I, I opened it up on my haul. I think it might have been like a first sniffs, and I really was scared once I smelled it because I was like, oh my gosh. Like you can smell licorice, like black licorice. And I was like, I don't think I like this. So I kind of left it in my closet for a bit. And then we had this Tester Tuesday. And like I said, Tracy Dawn usually breaks the tie, but she kind of chimed in and said, oh my gosh, I'm kind of worried about this because when I smelled it, it made me want to gag. Okay, so then I always usually let my kids smell the scent so I can figure out where I'm going to put it. So on cold, let me just tell you, it's pretty strong. I would say like medium plus too strong on intensity when you do a cold sniff. Now, interestingly enough, the testers did not smell as strong. I just want to mention that. Bar, strong, testers, medium. Look how small they are though. So, Okay, my son smelled it. He said, this smells like Coca-Cola. And I thought to myself, he's kind of right. It does have a little bit of Coca-Cola smell. But you know what it is? Now that I've got that in my head, I can't get it out. But I rem it reminds me, if you took Coca-Cola and took old-fashioned root beer and combined those together with a tiny bit of black licorice in there too, and maybe even some cherry Coke, that's what this is to me. And the funny thing was, when I warmed it, the scent appeal went up for me. So that's good news. I would say 7 out of 10. I liked it. I didn't love it. But it was very different. I haven't warmed anything like this before. Okay, the other thing, it remind, I think the reason I kind of liked it is my stepbrother growing up, he a few times made homemade root beer. If you've never tried homemade root beer, it was terrific. And maybe that's why I think this because now I'm smelling, I'm smelling it and I think that's what I'm smelling. Homemade root beer has way more like spiciness intensity than like something you'd buy at like, you know, in a bottle at the store. Or I just find it, it it's different to me. So that's probably why the scent appeal went up because it has a memory. But the funny thing happened was one time he screwed up the root beer process and we were all sitting watching a TV in our rec room and we could just hear, we heard the first bottle explode and then it was like pew, pew, pew. <laughs> they all exploded. So you have to be careful when you make root beer and I think regular beer as well. But yeah, so how did this one do? I'm ra rambling. It lasts a while. It builds in the room, I find. So strength and throw was between six and a half to eight, depending on the room. So my room's a bit like on the medium side. I would say it was the strongest in my room, about eight out of 10. It's still going, it's day three, 27 hours. I'm gonna take it out soon because I just still has scent, but I gotta move on. My other two rooms, my daughter's room, I used one cube plus the two testers. Now remember, these didn't seem as strong. I don't know if it was my imagination, but that's where it seemed the lightest. I would say six and a half out of 10, and I had it lasting four days, a little over 40 hours. My son's room, four days, a little over 40 hours, but a seven out of 10, and I used one cube for his room. So would I repurchase this if it came back? I think I would probably pick up one bar and just warm it sparingly when I felt like it, but I was kind of excited and pleased that it was better than I thought. So for all you people that were scared of this, you know, it's it's an example of things do smell different when you warm them. We are going to move to drawing for scents. So every week I'm going to draw six scents from this box and you guys will vote for two different scents each in the comments section below. And should you be unable to vote on YouTube videos, find my post on Instagram, put your two votes there and I'll tally it that way. First scent is a big one, I think. Clean Breeze. Very different from the scents we had. <laughs> scent number two, Berry of Paradise. Scent number three, Persian Lime and Sandalwood. Scent number four, 
very snowy spruce. I'm just laughing because it's still kind of cold here and I don't know, it just makes me laugh. It, today's a nice day, but set number five, Bubblegum Blast. And set number six, I'm going to go in my, my sponsor's bag. She gave me a bunch of older testers, so we're going to see what we get. And we shouldn't have seen any of these because I just got them a few days ago. Oh, maybe we've seen this one. I think I might have put singles in here, but anyway, we'll do, we'll go with it anyway. Wild Red Berry and Sweet Melon. Okay, so let's review your voting options. They are Clean, clean Breeze, Beria Paradise, Persian Lime and Sandalwood, Very Snowy Spruce, Bubblegum Blast, and Wild Red Berry and Sweet Melon. Thanks for spending the last 11 minutes with me. I hope this video was helpful in some way. I'd like to wish you a great day in your neck of the woods. Take care, and I will see you in the next video.